I haven't got the answers here. What do you mean you can spot the answers here? I haven't got the answers here, but I only got the actual, the actual. Do you know what this one is? Do you know, do you know what this one is? Oh, well then we're off to a good start. Hey guys, hey guys, so today on BK Sport, we are here with Mel. You guys know Mel, my partner, and Richard, my little sister. <laughs> today we're going to be doing, uh, because basically it was Australia Day yesterday, and yes, I didn't upload yesterday because of a few complications. Forget about that, we're here today. They were doing a wait, no, we're not doing Australians, doing Australian slang. Fijians trying to get Australian slang, because obviously going to get into the Australian spirit, and these guys have no idea, absolutely no idea, because they've, oh, well, Mel's been to Australia once, but yet, yeah, no. Mel should have the advantage over Richard because she obviously she lives with an amazing Australian man. Don't you get loud. Just be loud. Just be like out there, outgoing, you know, bang. Woo! Bang! <laughs> no, not, li <laughs> not literally bang. Oh, you reckon, you reckon you're gonna beat Mel? Well done. They're brilliant. That's, that's the wise words of Richard oh. over there. That's, that's the wise words of Richard. Anyway, let's just get straight into it. <laughs> Okay, so basically what this is going to be is our best out of 10. We give them both a chance to, I don't know, decipher what I say. I'll give it to the best answer. The first one I'm going to use is the age old one that no Australians ever use. Just want to point this out there. No Australians ever use this, but it's a big thing that everyone, Americans especially, think that we always say. Chuck a shrimp on the barbie, mate. I'm going to throw this one over to Mel first. What do you reckon that chuck a shrimp on the barbie means? This is probably the most simple one out of all of them, too. <laughs> like, this is the most simple one out of all of them. Chuck some meat on the barbie. Chuck some meat on the barbie. That's what you reckon it is? Alright. Oh. Like barbecue. Yeah, barbecue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, okay, so you're going with her. Alright, so I'm gonna have to give that one to both of you then, because that pretty much is it, but shrimp. Can't do it again. You can't do it again. <laughs> you, you're right and you're wrong at the same time, but yes, it is barbecue and just throwing onto the barbecue. Next one, now you guys aren't gonna have a clue on this one. What's a Josh Dugan? I'm gonna throw this one over to Richard first. What do you think a Josh Dugan is? <laughs> <laughs> name of a guy. Player. You think it's a player? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna have to give this one to Richard. Oh, he's leading two one. But I was I was actually looking for the meaning of it because yes, it is a rugby league play. But I was just you know saying a soft human being who is always injured. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of slang is this? Next one is number three. Is get your hand off it, mate. Stop wanking. <laughs> Stop wanking. Whoa. All right, straight up. No, I'm not cutting that part. Side. Give him a second chance. <laughs> No, you've had your chance, so no. <laughs> stop wanking. That's yours. Get your hand off it, mate. And you won in the conversation or something. This is your, like, 15th opportunity, <laughs> so I'm giving Richard the opportunity here, man. I'm giving, this is Richard's turn. To, 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 time to shine. Stop touching your properties. Stop, to, to, stop, stop touching your properties. All right, so get your hand off, mate. It's basically like when you're really, when someone's being really arrogant, you're talking to someone, they're being a bit of a, they're being a bit of a wanker. So you, you could kind of have that one in it. I don't even know if I could give it to you. I'd give that Sheila a solid 9 out of a, 9 out of, 9 out of 11, I was about to say. I'd give that Sheila a solid 9 out of 10. I wish there was like a wall right here, because they're trying to like work it out with each other. They're trying to work it out with each other. You definitely agree with the person. So you agree with the person? If I was in town right now, if I was in Suva, and I said, I'd give that Sheila a solid 9 out of 10. The wild guess, absolutely anything. Oh, anything. She's guessing yeah, she's guessing, she has no idea, because that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's wrong. That's so far wrong. So you're saying that you would give a guy a solid 9 out of 10. So the 9 out of 10 is like a rating of looks. That's the answer basically. So I'm going to have to give that one to him because it's actually, I'd give that shit. So you're saying that she's really good looking. So it's like 9 out of 10. But this guy is always easily that guy. Uh, you did say rating with your 15th opportunity. Like, <laughs> you, you've only got one opportunity. You can't just say, oh yeah, no, this one. Oh, this one. Oh, this one. Next up, we've got, got to head down to the bottom of this Arvo for a slab. Head to the pub. This Arvo for a slab. For a drink. Go to the bottom. Go to the bar for a drink. Bottle is like a, it's not a pub, it's where you buy your beers from. A slab of beer, which is like a carton, or it's oh, like okay. a 24 pack. I'm gonna have to give that one to Mel though. I'm gonna, cause you basically just copied Mel. So I'm gonna have to give this one to Mel. No need to pull a sickie, she'll be right. She'll be right. No need to pull a sickie, she'll be right. No need to pull a sickie, she'll be right. No need to help her out. All right, that's your, that's your chance. Anything you say, after this is helping him because you've had your, your <laughs> somewhat straightforward. Well, for, for, for me it is anyway. Well, I'm a, I'm a, I guess You're I'm Australian, Australian so. uh, but, but it is pretty straightforward. You, you, you when I tell you what it is, you'll you'll be like, oh my gosh, how did I not know that? I'll give you a hint. It's got nothing to do with a woman. Absolutely nothing to do with a woman. I need to give you an excuse. 
No need to give an excuse. It's okay. It's okay. So Richard gets this point. Richard gets this point. You know why? Because it's what sickies like. You're calling in sick for work. A sickie is just calling in sick for work. And she'll be right. Just like, it's okay. Next up is, oh, here we go. Gallon is having a soup again. I'm pretty sure Mel's going to get this one. I'm pretty sure Mel's going to get this one because she'll definitely know one of those words. <laughs> I'll give you both a hint. Gallon is a rugby league player. Shut well done. That's actually that deserves a point in itself that you knew that. So imagine it's in a rugby league game. We're Gallon all... is having another try. Having another try. All right. Red. Okay. So you're saying that Gallon's getting a red card, and you're saying he's getting a try, and you're both wrong. Like you're both <laughs> you're both completely wrong. Silk is like a whinge. Like you're having a cry. <laughs> You haven't seen every rugby league fan who watches my channel right now is just gonna be like, are you kidding me? Gallon's always with the bloody ref out of the silk. Like, what are you talking about? He lives out in the middle of whoop whoop. Nowhere. You're saying nowhere? Everywhere. <laughs> so you're just. just <laughs> I have to give this one a bell. <laughs> it's funny because whenever people come to Australia, some people, or most people, actually think that whoop whoop is an actual place. Bloody oath, you ain't got Buckley's chance of landing a route with that chick. <laughs> She looked at me, I think she knows exactly what this means. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, just highlight root. Just highlight root. You haven't got the chance to then a thing on the cheek. <laughs> Wait a second, Richard. We didn't need to go that specific, man. We didn't, we just, we didn't need to go that specific, man. So, okay, well, you Sleep tell him. With that chick. Pretty much, yeah. So, root, sex, and chick is a woman. Buckley's chance is like absolutely no chance. And no chance of sleeping with that woman. Buckley's chance is just like, I don't even know how to explain it. I don't even know how to explain it. It's just, it's just like everyday language for me. Winner here, guys. I'm sorry, Richard, but it's, it's Richard. No, it's actually, it's Ed's mouth. Hey, no, there's one more. <laughs> there's one more left. He said, oh, I was one. No, no, I was yeah, wondering how it got. Final question is, you need to get this right. Oh, there's no way you're gonna know what this means. That grommet is tearing it up. I'll, I'll give you guys a hint because otherwise you'd be, you'd, 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 I know you're already pretty, pretty I lost. It's to do with the beach. Something to do with waves. Surfing. Do you think it's surfing? Surfers actually. <laughs> <laughs> tearing it up on the waves. Tearing it up on the waves. So you're saying that surfer is tearing it up with the waves. But what is like tearing it up? Good. Like he's actually freaking good up the <laughs> You can go the same or similar. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, it could be the same, or, oh, that's could, or it could be similar, you know, it could be the same, or it could be similar. He's hinting to you. I'm, I'm hinting to something here, man. You're gonna get it correct if he doesn't be a little bit more specific. Because that's right, but it's just a little bit more specific. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three! You don't make me laughing, you're meant to be guessing right now. Okay, say an age of a person. Just say an age of a person. 20. 20. No, okay. Mel no wins. <laughs> a young surfer, like a, 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 a grom is like a, someone, kid, a, a child, and tearing up on the waves. That's what a grom it is. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did like it, please give me a thumbs up so I know that you're enjoying this content. Wow, that was so late. At least, at least, oh wow. No, I'm not putting that in there. There's no way I'm putting the thumbs down in there. Oh, for Richard, since you lost. Oh, I was going to say, I was like, no, 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 don't do that, guys. So the winner today for a Fijian sketching Australian slang was Mel. Good old Mel. Unfortunately for Richard, you know, he's not going to be tearing it up as a grommet anytime soon. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys had some fun, go and hit the subscribe button below. Then you get all this in your subscription feed. And also hit the little ding a ling a ling notification bell. I want to hear a ding a ling a ling. Ding a ling a ling. No, no, make it, make it loud. Like ding a ling a ling. Ding a ling a ling. Ding a ling a ling. <laughs> Notification bell so you get all these in your subscription feed and you get a notification every time Big House uploads a video. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you later. See ya.